I am the one that gets divorced. And I am in the Boston department. Where is my colleague or friend? My name is Lynn Warren. I'm from uh, Castler up there, and I'm teaching adjunct for Castler College and at times for the as well. So I'm only following the class, and I would come down after the third and talking about essays. <laughs> Share with you what we're about this. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting we came together here this morning and planned for this presentation uh, since we do not hear that often. So we were realizing how cool this is. So we have used sim a similar approach to do this essay exam. And uh, I have a large 123,000 level board. Lynn has a 20 or so. 2,000 level boards and very different preparations. The students have different preparations, level of knowledge to put it into the class. So we can realize how interesting contrast we can do for the mission. Um, so our outline for today is just a brief background. Why did we choose this sort of method of exam? And contrast is smaller, smaller classes than the level of class. We talk about experiences that we have um, drawn from this um, type of And what the outcomes have been for, for me, I've done it once. Lynn uh, has done it several times, and she has a little bit more uh, things to say about the outcomes. And then what can be improved? We have talked about a lot of things, of course, but we do a lot uh, more things uh, to your point. Uh, so we have a lot of thoughts, more so than any uh, suggestions at this point. But then we want us to basically discuss, all of us to discuss, what you have, what experiences you have, and what type of uh, questions you have for us. We have some, some uh, handouts of the exam that we have. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the background, about where I got this idea from. So, um, so I started as a graduate student teaching this as a primary instructor, and that's always very terrifying. So you fall back on what you had before or what the uh, professor there will give you. So the first year that I did this was uh, um, two years ago. And the first year I taught a kind of biology class. So it was in 2015. So I just used the traditional multiple choice exam with some short answer and some on the blank and with some little essay questions that were back. And what I found was that the students were um, bombing like the whole exam anyway. And so they did those that did really, really terrible on the multiple choice did a little better on the essay questions. And then I also found the reverse of that. You know, those that did pretty good, you know, on the essay questions that kind of bomb and multiple choice. So there was this I felt there was a disconnect between um, information, content, memorization, and being able just to connect the concepts and get a synthesize this So um, where I got the idea from then was um, my daughter's a student here at the and she's at uh, anthropology. And she took Jim McCurman's biological anthropology class. And so fall of 2013, I was now with her, and she went, oh, God, I said, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to So she, she sent me um, his uh, essay exams where he, he said, he's been doing this. If he just wanted to be here today, he had to go to the conference. So, and he's been doing this quite a while, so he would be a great resource if you guys have done anything more than that. So, um, I don't feel that, but the general way he structured the exam is an all-passing one kind of how he did it. So, it's an essay question, and we attach it to each of these essay questions, and there are either two words that give us that topic. And then the idea is that you come in and you can write a coherent story about that question, and using those two words, Structure the essay, and that also prevents plagiarism. You know, they have to use these keywords uh, and give them a uh, method of coherence. So, part of the research, I think I got to know that it's really got to on this. Um, I really wanted them to synthesize the information they were doing. Find fun ways to do it for themselves. And come out things like inspiration. Synthesis a lot of stuff in there. It's process based, and the opportunity for them to learn to connect those dots between those pathways in that process is really large. 
and multiple choice traditional designers are just like you know bonding out facts that they are in compliance and to synthesizing the So I thought it was a great idea, you know, now I'm trying to do And one problem was that a lot of these uh, traditional type designers that are really deep throughout some very things together don't exactly mirror our teaching styles and what we're doing in that class. The first year I did this, I was, I was terrified for that, and I was just going to call upon what, what was done before me on the exam. So I ended up finding myself going back and like, oh my god, I better go look at these exams. I had an instructor in my teaching room who was the exams, and I was just annoyed because I really wanted to talk about thinking I wanted to, to make this a process of learning throughout it. So that was why I and that's how I knew that and where I learned that. So again, Jim and her need to be really good in the um, So now, I guess we're going to pass this in front of you. Alright, so I'm going to pass this stuff around to you guys. And what you're going to get is a little pack of green. The first page is, um, we use Moodle, I think Jasper. And, um, after one was filming, what you guys have will come closer to the two that you can much the system on here. But um, this, is, this is what, when they log on to Google, what they receive. You know, this is instructions for the exam. All right, so what I would do then is on the next page, it's going to show you some of the uh, possible, possible ethics. So the next few pages are actually the possible ethics of these with my grading group associated with them on their giving you two groups. So the first, go ahead. I gave them a, one example of a group for the first time. I said, this is an example of how I gave these things and so So I didn't even feel that I needed to give them these, all these rubrics for the whole, for every single question. But I wanted them to know that I used one and what the structure that I used for this. Okay. So I, the first step is we're talking about the questions a week ahead of time. And um, then the exams are scheduled from their online and then on either open at 7 in the morning or 12 at night. They have a two hour window to upload their essay. And the way that these questions work is I gave them five questions. And then they have to be randomly selected from the five questions. And then they have to be randomly And then they have to be randomly selected from the five questions. And then they have to be randomly selected from the five questions. The last exam that I just gave back to the group yesterday, um, one of the questions is a really good question. It's a photosynthesis question. Um, and that's actually question number two we'll see here, what's this in there? So I had everybody answer that question um, on that. That one had 35 people that And then the other four questions were random in this time. So they had two questions that they actually had to hand in, but they don't know which one was going to be. Right? So they're given all five of these questions. So then I guess the instruction then again is um, as far as the day of the test, if they got all the day to do it, they only got a two hour window. I would want them to upload these things at the Google Doc. The first time I did it, I got them to this PDF. And searching for those keywords in the PDF is a real drag problem. So what I have them do and from now on as soon as I have them either bold them or underline them and say it's a word document, and search for those very easily, and then in the Excel sheet I would and go and highlight and double check <coughs> that they had been working with the election design. And it actually turned out that they were pretty good you know, on that part of it. Um, so then I put the Google Docs submission, so it's just a, it's just a straight upload. Um, I would also then upload as a Google Doc. Um, that's using a map, because not everybody has access to Microsoft Word, but it might be a mistake. So they have access to Google Docs. And then I can easily convert that um, to a Google Doc. And so as far as the grading and the way these rubrics work, as I think, you know, um, I did not assign specific points to all of them. I looked at these papers and just made it over here and made it over here and And this is straight from general terms on the way that these grading rubrics are structured out there. So if they had all of the keywords and they were able to use all of the efficiency criteria down there, then that was a big thing. Okay, so, but if they missed, um, and the way the keywords are figured out, so if there's like 70 or 80% or less of the keywords that they would have, that would immediately drop into the main. And then if they uh, missed any of these um, 
concepts. So for example, if you look at the lessons in their question, I want them to describe the properties of light that's important to their senses. Right? So if you're given um, a number of or, uh, chlorophyll on A six A protons, well, it's just like the cat and the cat and the All these words in here that you tell me the story of photosynthesis, and that's what I want. I want to tell me the story about the way you use these words and describe the DNA. And then it just kind of goes on down. So um, the fewer keywords they have, the fewer of these concepts that they're actually learning on there. Um, again, the number of words that you're on the inside of well. So it did give me a fairly good uh, a way to, but there was no specific points for every concept. You have to pick your way through some of that stuff. You know, it's easy, right? You're like, you can you know, tell me a thing that's actually not right, you know, and you can say, well, you get to me and you get hard and hard. So, and so that I would have these, I have uh, these specific rubrics for every single question that I can ask on there. Um, but on both of these dynamics, I think there's always going to be one that has a lot of keywords that would be really good. Really, really, really. And I always made it so everybody had to take one of the big questions and then the smaller questions would be in. And I didn't think it was fair to have a random big hard question in. And the photosynthesis question that this simply had at the back. I would think, you know, you've also given the context of how you assess the other assessments in the talk. It's not that it's a standard, it's just the context of the kind of makes it more of a whole, right? Right. So, you know, so summative, obviously, you know, uh, and you can make that summative assessment, it's kind of different and out of the So, you know, there's that kind of formative type of assessment, you're giving them more specifics and things. And so, every week I will give quizzes that will make some out of it. I would use the break in there. And it was just as simple as so you can do this in kind of four minutes. At the beginning of the break in the book, you have to figure out exactly what you call the checkpoints. And there's like, no answers to those checkpoints, but there are. But I would say the quiz on the break in would be a good chapter seven checkpoint. And those are just pretty big, broad questions on you know, the checkpoints. So they have to funnel through that information in that book. Somehow, local from the lecture is going to be able to. I use a lot of case studies as well, and so we do in class uh, work. So there's a lot of in class. Um, so for a lot of my genetics, stuff, I didn't really do a very good genetic team. I use a, a case study and we go through on that. And so we do work in class, and we actually have like, questions in class, and we do it in board work, and then we do So I you know, kind of balance out the writing things with just a lot of smaller I've got 22 years. So I have a small amount as far as time for grading on these. The first, I mean, that's always going to be going to have you come to Well, the first year, we would do these bastards. That's I was searching for the key and the key and it took Whatever. But once I figured out, you know, and I and I'll, I'll take points. If I have to look for those keywords, I'm going to be right. That takes me a half hour to find those keywords if they don't want But if they mark those keywords and I can find them, um, if that's easy enough for me to see, and then I can just modify some essays in an hour or less. And really kind of depending on, you know, I have some rule over which we the writing and the things, and then I have some more nice insight writers one page and love it. And then I've got those who will actually are very clever at being able to read every word in a sentence without actually ever making any sense of the sentence and answering the question that's out there. You know, but they're really good at using all those keywords, you know, but then they lose on the concepts. They lose points on the concepts. You know, you said you can do quite digitally. No, no, one exam. So it would take you 20 hours to grade one. Probably. Or a little bit, or a little bit less. I've got sometimes I can do two, but I can do twenty. It takes a lot more time. So the last time I did so over October, it took, it took me a couple of days over the fall break, um, spread out over a few days. So there is time involved in doing this, but I really think the outcome is worth it. And I've got actually got some data on each of the other things I can see. But yeah, there is, there is more, there's definitely more time involved 
with that. But once you get it down, the process down, you need to figure out how to get this to uh, Another little thing that we found um, is, is the idea of, like, just every now and then, if I see somebody with a team, you write it clearly. Yeah, well, I can't believe you write it after all. Yeah. <laughs> so I would, you know, you know, you know, just kind of randomly get stuff in the office and make it easy. Also, it's just sort of seeing where it could be basic. The study show or something like that. But I've never had anybody yet come up with a little bit of a problem. Because if it works, that's the thing. Yes, yeah, well, they might not have to do the most part, they do, well, they do really well. See, that's the thing, that's the quality of their work. They worry about these much more than they ever worry about any other thing. And they have way more time. And those are not pretty time, they come up in most of the things that don't need all the experience. You know, or, or they know, they actually will keep them ahead of time and say, I know I didn't do very good on this, I didn't or them or whatever, you know. And I'm like, well, you know, so they, you know, but for the most part, they are really great. They care about it. It worries me to death. Because a lot of them are like, I guess that's what I feel like you know, to see them. They don't want to do something. Oh, I just like to do it. So I do it. Three weeks to do it. That's like, come on, guys. We can discuss all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how long it does, you know, with the 100 students. <laughs> All right, so if you guys can just sign mine off. And so I approach this class a little bit different than this is because, of, of course, it's a different level and I expect more of my students. That's your coach, right? Sure. And also, um, I felt like it, it was needed to justify it. I learned a little bit more about learning, about why I'm doing this to them um, as, as the first paragraph in the instruction. And I was just doing a little bit of some aiding here to, to my students, why I'm doing this in, in this way, and why you probably find a lot of like, why do you do that? Why is it perfect? It's so good. It's fine. This is the first time I'm teaching class. First time I'm doing this type of exam. So when we talk about the outcomes and we think that we think about how to improve this, that's where all that's right? So um, it's really cool though how the students took these instructions and they actually followed them. Uh, except for the book four has never underlined anything. Um, so I kind of sit down and when we were starting breaking this, the underlined parts get one point off the keyword. So if someone actually took a lot of effort in writing the question and they get 25 points off because of the online, I felt that would be one. So he said, across the whole exam, if there's no online, you would get uh, 10 points off. Because I didn't want that to be the top of their children. So that's how we did it um, But I also emphasize that uh, the response to my students is so important. I have seen a lot of quotations and a lot of other writing assignments, but if you're fine, probably something quoted in your study. That's great. So, right? <laughs> so, um, I said, need to your own words, and I said flat out um, when I introduced this class before the justice, I said, if I see anyone have any plagiarism whatsoever, it was zero and report. I was like, my military face is now, right? And they were like, okay, so I think they got that point. Um, and I ran through mine uh, when I got the, yeah, I ran through mine with the plagiarism, it's called the plagiarism. Um, so I the whole document, it ran. It took a while. I didn't have to look at it. It took a while for that. And I had an overall 80% uh, and above that was unique. But it was 20% that we need to look at. What was that? I wasn't to look at. 
essay. You know, those typical adding, signing, uniting. I mean, those phrases they use constantly in the book. There was nothing that stuck out stuck out that was copied by the book. It was really good. Um, in, com in comparison to other students, because they can work on this together. Um, when they are getting the questions, they are about to work together and discuss it. So it really, really seems good. And it seems like they're actually learning a lot more by doing that. Uh, they don't have to. They can work alone. They can show you they can work together or not. Um, and it seems like they actually have to have one thing to go And there was no essay that was all the of all work. That's pretty cool. Um, but the structure of mine was that I gave them seven days and they could submit their essay whenever they wanted to. I had it, so I told them that I could do it on the Monday and then later. So, they all submitted. Now, there were some things that were already done on the day. They were really excited about it. And of course, they all submitted. Good. But they could submit it when they wanted to do that. In my courses, and I did not have any description with this one uh, three word or the format, yes, or whatever they wanted. Because in my course, it's a very neat um, way of grading. You can give comments throughout the text. We actually have to have three to eight, which is really what's essential. We can come in with some decisions for question plus, right? So um, my TA is very confident that you have to have something to dialogue. And they help me grade. So in life courses, you can have to do this really, really well working together. You can mute your uh, grading. So the student is not see what's halfway done. But if you do a grade, you're like, oh, my grade is 50 points at 150. What's going on? So no panic over there. Yeah. And so it worked really well. We were making comments throughout. So what I told the students, too, was that we cannot put it in super long time. Then we're going to do this first. So we said, we're going to do a freaking good, great, what's the need here? Why did you put this in here? Stuff like that. Small comments throughout so you know approximately where they were in here. And then we had a rubric so you can see here in the rubric that they got. Um, they had A, B, C, and D. And I tried to be very clear on what was the what was the position, what was the low position. But this is pretty arbitrary to do some, especially if you are a leader. So what we decided to put in a little bit more detail with this in my course. So they, they put in all the keywords and put it into the content they were studying. And then we had 12 points or so that was um, how detailed were you in the description? What level was it? Was it described? What was it blocking? And then we had uh, points for specific examples, which you needed to have in both A and B. The specific examples was what the examples from the teacher. And a lot of students realized that, um, oh, I need to draw this. In fact, I got so much comments back from students saying, this is great. I can sit down and I can go up and find information that you can learn in class and learn more about certain topics that I'm interested Now, this sounds all very good. They don't focus on everything. But there were some that I think they gone into that. And well being different topics is really awesome. It was so good to read them and I could see them, wow, this is great. We learned something. And we learned something new. So I also provided how to spell sources, which is definitely one of the things that we have used to cite the sources. If they just use lecture notes and and um textbooks, they really need to check it. Because that's that's a good material. Um they did really overall really well in all those parts. Um, so I did not pick and choose questions for, for their upload. We need to do all four questions. And so there was no like uh, random choice. We need to do all four questions and let them all four. And that's only possible, of course, if you have great skills. If you have people that can do it. I mean, it takes a long time, right? But you need to make decisions about um, how much content you put in there, and also put the deadline for yourself. I realized that this is the one exam that is going to go forever and ever. Oh, it's great. Oh, I wonder. And then look back to the door. You know, the door, right? You need to make sure. What level do I want to go to? How much time do I spend on it? And then I kind of started to get a hang on the whole thing after that. 
And it was fun. I'm telling you, it was fun. Much more fun to create this than to create this short um, answer question. This is a nice sort of temperature um, age for what they're doing. I really like it. That was fun. Of course, my TAs were not so happy all the time. But hey, anyway, I think they, they found it interesting to do it too. I mean, they think that they can have a lot of other things to do. So they submitted it on uh, all of its uh, no choice of questions and use the uh, so, um, one thing that I thought about when I was creating it was that, well, this is very specific. How do we want to get away from the subjective method? I don't know. Rating method is the subjective method. That's what we show to you in one question. So, we don't have to mix it up because it's the same error, right? Across the exam. And in fact, after we handed them back and got the grading done, uh, was, there was about 10 students out of all these students that had something to do with the Small stuff. I'm a green man, I always had a choice. And he's wiping that up, right? Well, we sat down and we looked at it and we said, oh, I was supposed to find a conversation. Yes, we get instructions. Oh, what are the instructions? Stuff like that, and then, you know, students know. They know. They own that, right? So I really enjoyed this. This was awesome. I would do it again for my final. I would change up a little bit. I'm going to talk more about that class. We can talk to everybody. Yeah. How many of these? I have done one. You turn and I'm going to do one. I don't think the instructions were supposed to add anything. It's in the rubric. Yeah, so we each got A, B, and C. Specific um, example. And I explained them before that. So okay. there are a lot of improvements here that can be done. Well, I was just thinking the instructions were appropriate. Exactly. I wasn't quite sure what they were doing. Yeah, so that was something we were doing. But there's a lot of improvements in here and being worked with leaders. Doing the instructions and the improvements. So a lot of things. Well, I also think you might have heard from the class of time. Yeah. I was just wondering what it looked like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but what if the students want to say, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you need to be very clear. That's the thing that I need to be So, awesome. It's so good. This is so fun. How did you do it? You haven't talked about it. Okay, so I've had 85 average um, on the first one. The second exam would be the average. The first exam this year would be 85, and I just got one. Try to determine what I want to do for the last exam. Um, I know last year, um, I just sort of feel like if you're happy with the grade, then this year, um, I'm going to have to, because there's some students that can fail them. They're going to have to. And I, and I was always trying to make that final exam this year. Um, that thing is so on very quickly. And so I kind of defaulted that on the field. They didn't know what to expect. So this year, um, so, so we'll see, you know, on the end. Um, do I think it adequately assess their learning? Absolutely. You know, I really think that what I found was that uh, they went um, from you know, short little, you know, spots of information at which you sent what my main goal was to synthesize this information and process and things like that. And they were able to do it. And, um, and, I, and, I, would, and I would agree with moment and how fun it was I have students, I have one question here and on that, I'll call you the same thing. So I have a student who did a great story based on time travel and that she put together, that she went back through time and went to Gwent's experiments and Gwent's experiments and Darwin's experiments and explained this all. She took them all out. And things are fun to see. These things are fun to read. They are. And that's the one thing. They're long, going, but it's like funny, just go, I keep going, you like, they're all the bed and I love this surroundings. They're fine. They're fine. But, but they will be haters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they will be. As there are haters in the meantime. Uh, but I think the majority like this. When they get used to it, and they actually see like, huh, I have time. I can sit down. And I can kind of see what I'm actually have learned. And I can just update. I don't have to stretch my time. And I think time 
time frame of many exams are hard cases. Um, I'm not sure that we actually have any ever learned um, My students had, on um, this exam, uh, they had an astonishing 7% average, and they were not trying to They did awesome. It was really remarkable. Then there were some that didn't, um, and they know what they did wrong. Um, so it was a really high average, not a single one, but it was so high. But in the context, what I talk about my part, in the context of the other assessment country, I'm not about 78%. Well, actually, it's just a bit normal, um, but it was actually a bit normal. But I do put this too online for the spread the model of the university director. So it's online for the information and discussion that I case study, it's video talks, it's yes, it's all well as being edited in the best talk. So, that's really cool. And I really think it's a powerful assessment to learn what you think. What do you do? So, what my students complained about was the need more time. They want to make time. And the people that said that, I asked them, when did you start? So, there's nothing that people can address. Time management. You need to this is midterm week, so people are totally not going to have a chance to do that. They suffer, but how do we go on the time? So perhaps a little longer time to be heard. Their time is. There's no difference whatsoever. Because I just think of it that it takes us last time, and I still think that's the thing. Obviously, it took the whole two hours that we're there. So, time, you know, if ever again, that's. And they didn't say it was Yeah. yeah. Um, but the midterm thing was a problem. And for the wrong reasons. And all of them, everybody came up there and they didn't even want to fall for it. And we only had so many employees out there. So trying to get that time into the variety of interviews, people in Monte, and we took the end of the information that goes together. That's Because this was last year, um, and I, I gave this to the computer last year, and I'm going to give this the same um, poll this year. And I asked them to do some things to do that. You can do more of an additional exam, less than an additional exam. They take more time than an additional exam, and they're really good in the class. So, and as it came down to, yes, we had definitely people that um, felt that they were going to come. And I had, I also had some things as well. I just really like that. I do so much better on this than I can tell you about it. I guess some of the questions probably would be too cool to this, but it does take more time. That would be a good thing. They thought when they first like, oh, wait, cool, don't be good. Take one exam. No problem. And I was going to end up finding out that this is a really bad thing. I know it's going to be a good thing. So then I have another one. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. This be, I copied the same one. I copied the same one on all of them. Sorry. Oh, wow. The thing is, the point here is that I'm going to ask the same question to my students and compare them with it. This is the low number of students that you have to ask. It's pretty cool to compare them. One of them I had asked them if they thought that they might get like fewer questions more often. And uh, the polls where most students would like having all the five questions. Did you how much time did you do to this compared to the other And then if you're thinking, we can raise our discussion now into people's box to set this to two people who are excited about this. So, even I think that these values are improved, for me personally, I definitely feel more clear, much more clear what do we grade, how do we grade it, um, and um, if you have a pure assessment, value an option, at least for the, for the, the middle of the method, you do think that other people have they will, you can be a learning for themselves. Cool. Or, or something. 
then uh, to be more active, to be shorter. That's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to do shorter questions, not tiny questions. Like that. Hmm. So, in the beginning of the learning the talk, like how to do it, you have to spend a little bit too much time with the people a lot of time. Try to get more And I hope. So, if we, if we take that off the picture, let us say, uh, probably, I think about 10 to the to one question. And that's a big fact. It depends. If you can as I said, you speak more for yourself, and that's, you need to be very clear on that and have that type of music. This is going to be great with plus minus for the star. Then you're going to go, shoot, you're like, ah, you can't do that. I have, I have looked up on mine how people do it. Actually, some people don't do comments at all. They just put, put plus and minus and, and uh, star. And then you can have, and they know when it's a can't do that. It's good. Yeah. Because, like, so I use this in the context. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After, after we get through two or three essays, you know, we've got the content, and then we're looking for it. And then maybe we're not just going to read each word, you can kind of go through and find and see if there's content in the material. So, it's a good concept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how that's on that? What did I mean? Once you've got it down, there's only so many ways you can see the There's only so many ways that they can see I think you're right. I think that's true even for our the short answer type questions where I have a 40 student class and it's been really two hours in the past to break. But it's just a way for me to give all of the answer questions. Now I'm down to like 10 hours. So, you know, over the years, I've been able to do it. I need to figure out, like, what you're doing. Yeah, but I think when I'm kind of concerned about the students, right? She did kind of like that. That's right. So, like, we have my parents in the way that it's going to learn how much time it takes. Did you do well, I think, yeah, I think with proper training, I mean, a peer group, right, right, and proper training, and anything to normalize them, we're all to work together, and we're going to question, how would you break this, what sort of comments would you provide, and why, and just seeing, like, how everyone would do that, I think it would be changing. Yeah, I think then, but it would work well, because they would be doing that. I mean, it's just, it's going to be that way, you need to be able to do that. But <clears throat> I, uh, I really like that we discussed it. Once you guys can come out, you can explain to I really hate the pictures. They're really fun to read, but they just, you know, it's like, all right, here we go. Boom, 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 and I'm done. You know, with it. But I just think, of course, they can just. When I was an undergraduate, and I think, I don't know, I, there was no, you know, I saw our arms and instructor, they were big essays on the wooden words, but I went back and was a band in the world. One of the things I run in the of the past is, well, we shouldn't these kind of you know, essay exams at this level. And I'm like, well, what do you start writing in these concepts? I know they have and it's all about the time. But 
In our cast, it was terrible. It was? Yeah, it was like accomplished for everything the whole way down. Yeah. Even when you clearly look at like, but the plates were down. I think it were, I don't know, 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 Critical in a good way, and then others are just like cut everybody down to the very end. Um, so I think a little bit of the body is not that good. Okay, pretty good luck, but I think it's because over the years, it went down to the point now where they get graded on the quality of their grading. So they get I go in and I look at the comments they provide, I look at how they assess, and depending on, and they use the exact rubric that I'm going to use tonight, so I do the grading as well, right? I use the peer assessment as kind of an opportunity for students to see what their peers' comments are, and then we have the opportunity to revise their papers, and then I grade them. But um, the quality of the comments that they give, because we spend time in class talking about this, so it does take time to. Um, I haven't done this, but um, but they take it seriously. Like after, you, but but yeah, you have to have the you know, top form, and then they have to be, they have to know that you're going to look at the comments, and if they they get the sense that you're not going in and looking at the comments that they provide you. Have a guess of the graphic of what you're doing, all the graphs and very quiet, but then you have to go back and do that. And it's actually good in, in my courses, though. Yeah, I don't think that would be great on the quality of their responses to their peers, which I said would be Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's only, it's only like six points or something like that. But that's a lot of points to have in this other conference, right? Okay. Like, they, they take it seriously. And the comments they provide are exactly the comments. In fact, in some cases, I end up writing, you know, a lot of them don't revise between their draft and then the final that they can get because they're happy with review or whatever. But it's the same comments I end up providing on my paper. You know? What do you think about just picking the whole way and just pitching the exams and just having the whole, the whole label Not really. No, no. <laughs> so, some people do. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We had an example of people here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How that work? You can have them all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You do have them all. I would not think they're all the time. But it's just someone who put them out. Like you were saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone knows it's a two minutes before. Right. I mean, I think for us, right, they're all in the dorms. Yeah. 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 Like, it's also taking the rubric and what those lying rubrics. You realize a lot of people who have them in the Then a few people may be something to do well because it doesn't have a difference. So, what do you think? I think people aren't accepting the fact that there are things you want to go on and the other thing, and then they can do that. And I think that's the other thing. It's less dark than you hear that they're going to react and it's going to be okay. It's not really cut off at the knee in high school. Right? If you don't spend your money, you're going to be like, you know, like, like you're trapped quite early in Europe. Like you're really in the middle. So the worst thing is that. Yeah. 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 The thing that makes me anxious about this is the concept of this. I would think what just happened to me in my life and my home. Like this is not, not the event. I 
I know. I mean, I agree. Sixty it. hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, you're not even gone. That's right. I appreciate it. Very thoughtful. Thank you for your input. Maybe time more. I'm sorry. See you next time. I'll see you next time. I'm going to have to see you next time. I'm going to have to see you next time. I'm going to have to see you next time. I'm going to have to see you next time. I'm going to have to see you next time. I'm going to have to see you next time. I'm going to have to see you next time. Yeah, because I've, I've done things before, too, where without an exam, I, I just had a lot of writing. There wasn't the onus to get geared up for it, right? You know, a lot of the stuff in Synergy, like, for the first couple of years, I was like, I have to have an exam because they're taught to care about an exam. And, you know, but maybe quiz is still a serious enough word that they care. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, if it was just by the essay, they were talking about the submission of this crap, and, you know, yeah, Okay. But, you know, I mean, as, as you go through it, you know, I mean, you guys aren't teaching person to freshman. There's a huge difference between a freshman seminar and, you know, once once they're into college a little bit, you know, 
Wait, how do you write now? How do you avoid that with the lab reports or other essays or just reading responses or something like that? Is it the I always thought I was like, did you tell your son that? They don't do this out there. No, I know, but our kids cheat. They cheat now while we're watching them. They just do it. You know, they pick up their smartphones on their lap during an exam while we're watching them. You know, just staring at the eyes. Thanks, guys. One new product is something I had not really thought about doing is thinking about making them care about it and what you need to make them care about it. And so she starts to attack on these tons of porn responses. So everything has tons of porn. So at the very end of the whole thing, yeah. you know, it still comes out in percentages. But they think, wow. Well, it's funny. Know, just, where can it's I do that high. in synergy, right? My whole class is worth like 500 or 1,000. This whole class is worth 100. You know, so in, in his, they lose a point, and it would matter a lot. Yeah. And in mine, they lose three. They go, oh, my God! And it matters, like, for nothing, right? Because it's seven out of ten, or for him, they're like, nine out of ten, they're like, screw. Right? So it's a whole percentage point. Yeah. Yeah, big, big numbers are impressive. There's nothing called touch points. Do you get ever done points or something? Or is it clutch points? I'm my Yeah. I talk to my students, I'm like, wow. It is like who are calling for the Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Those give me negative points then. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 Changing something or if it's hard to freshman do, yeah. It was hard for me to do. And I really learned about this. I was using this in different ways. Because I live them with the because they know that they're going to be assigned some kind of thing. But I find, especially in the second thing, the first exam are all really worried about it and they're all kind of preparing. But you know, I've got, they've got that two hour window they want to be in the very last minute, even though they have all this time, they go through the thing, they outline, they want to be like, we take these words and we figure out what they're doing in their mind, and they'll see that they surround the mind. But they're waiting for the last minute to actually go along the line. They're like, oh my god. And now, then they're the. Right, why do you find outlines and you can do two? Right? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> exactly. You know, and do it within two hours, and five hours, we're going to blow it out of here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think they're asking me. 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 Talk about you mean you have the questions out when you need to talk about Yeah. But then I was thinking, okay, now I'm going into my own um, file. Maybe another file. Right now, I'm going to do that. That's okay. Yeah. 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 But we still get content within context. Yeah. Is that true?
tools to work with, but, you know, they'll have to go find them. I mean, I think there's a great way to do that by pulling in real world stuff. And some of them all inherently care more. You know, like, for, for us, you know, anecdotally, on the back end of this class, like, I don't have to try to get them prepared because they all have somebody in their family that, you know, have blonde hair, and I have brown hair, and the genetics they care about, and they've got dogs, and you know, they care about the colors, or whatever. It's not a hard sell to even see it. But, yeah, I mean, sometimes when you can, like we thought in our last time with the analogy and stuff, but if you give them a way to see it, then, then your salesman part of the teacher gets to go away a little bit, which is nice. <laughs> Every day I'll put up that same poem until I get down to the end of it, and it's like, all right, guys, now let's watch this video. You know, so we watch the Harvard, you know, Master of the Universe up here with the book, you know, I go to this, you know, and look it up, and